You don't want to see me without makeup. I am Mecca. Please subscribe. We're doing a game stream. We're playing some Wheel of Bankrupt here tonight. And in the middle of that, hey, I won against the computer. Uh, they're, they're idiots. We do go online against other people and we can play alongs and game streams. And we're the only late night show in town, so you better subscribe for that. Now, if you like all that sort of stuff, we got to talk about this little, this little Judy Garland thing. They've been canceling her for lately. Oh, they've been canceling the crap out of Judy Garland. <laughs> Ugh. Nope. I'm looking for my other instance of it. See, it was Swanee, not Mammy. So they've been they've been circulating this. They've been circulating all these things that you know. Obviously, obviously, I think everybody knows that black. Uh, we don't even have to say. It. We don't even have to say. It. Black is bad. Duh, duh. We know this now. In 1939, when actresses like Judy Garland and people who tended to be in the in the MGM child actor sphere, right? They were property of kind of the studio at the time. You know, they were forced to smoke a lot of cigarettes to keep underweight. They were put on one thing to lose weight, one thing to stay awake, one thing to go to sleep. They were they were loaded up and they were so mistreated and and all of these things, right? That to be mad at the actors in this instance is one, extraordinarily inappropriate for an actress who died 50 years ago. For one, extraordinarily inappropriate. And, like, seriously, you're, you're letting somebody who died 50 years ago hold it over your head because here you go. I can start singing Swanee all day. Swanee, Swanee. Oh, I love you, Swanee. I'm not going to put on the makeup, but I'll sing the song for you. And because that's where the mammy stuff came from, isn't it? Is that what they're mad about? Are they mad about the mammy? They're mad about that. They're canceling somebody for something that, that happened in 1939 who has been dead since the, since 1969. Okay, so first off, first off, first off, the very tragic life of Judy Garland is nothing to be, nothing to be laughed at or, or, or canceled or, you know, I mean, it will cancel the treatment of underage people in the studios. Now, now this is one thing I will speak out against. And this is one thing that there have been quite a few organizations out there to help. And that is how people un under the age of 18 are treated by studios, stage parents, <clears throat> stage parents, or, uh, you know, studio handlers, treaters. I mean, you see stuff like Britney Spears losing her mind. You see a lot of people. Amanda Bynes did not reportedly do very well. A lot of these Disney actresses, a lot of these, a lot of these young girls who were performers, right? And boys, and boys. And they don't always know how to handle it, cope with it, deal with the, you know, because how could you? How would you? You can't really consent to a lot of this stuff. It's not growing up normal and, and reasonable and decent. And, and yet now we have people on Twitter who are perfectly happy to go and circulate these photos of, of stuff that I think we've kind of tried to kind of say, oh, yeah, 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 this happened. It was bad. Can we, can we, we you know, we're sorry. We didn't, you know, we're, like, I, who the hell are we apologizing for? This woman's been dead 50 years, you know, that she was dead a decade before I was born. I'm not apologizing for her. I'm not apologizing for MGM. I'm not, I have no ownership in it. And nor do I think anybody, in my opinion, like I'm not going to have, I, I don't know if I would want to hold this over, over somebody's, you know, I, I don't know if I'd want to be mad about this. I really, really don't. I really, really don't. But I will speak out completely against the treatment of underage people in the studios then. And now it seems it's not really, really doing any favors now. You have stage parents. <laughs> Uh, and this, this is what I'm saying. So we've been seeing this go around. You've been seeing this one particularly. Which one's this one? 
Yep. See, she always would sing the Al Jolson songs, like Swanee and all that. So, <laughs> who who was very notably for that? Because that was in her vocal rings. That, that was her musical soulmate was Al Jolson. You see. And as somebody who knows a thing or two about music and theater and Broadway and production. Well, mostly musical theater, I guess. I'll put on my musical theater geek <laughs> hat on this one. Right. We'll bang, we'll bang the drum for that one. Oh, zombie. Bumblebee zombie. Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Bumblebee zombie. Oh, that's a deep one. If you know what that one's a reference to. Oh. Mammy, Mammy, I love the old folks at home. So, that's the Judy Garland thing. She's 21 right there, actually. She's not. She was still 17. <laughs> So these people, these people are letting this hold us over her head. A page about nothing, some boxing though. These people are just letting all this hold it over or they're just 12 year old teenagers trying to say, oh, look at how bad these people were back before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, you want to go so far back, you know, the, what the Mayans did to children and they rolled the heads down the hill and blah, 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 or the Aztec mummies. Look at the Aztec cave mummies if you really want to go back and be outraged about a dead civilization that is relevant to today's society. But hey, you know, screw those Aztecs, I guess. Those ancient Aztecs, they're all now deceased for, uh, or <laughs> Incan, the Incan cave mummies, is that what they were? Yeah, those were, those, those people were poisoning those children and wrapping them up and sacrificing them to the gods, and that's a, that's a, oh, if you really, oh, th those people, they need to be stopped. We need a petition, they need to be stopped right now. I'm Mecca, I've lost my mind. And I'm taking you guys with me. Now please subscribe. Where, do I have any bumpers that I can play? Other than we get a ton of dancing. Kimber! No! I want like something that says please subscribe and give me all your money. and Please, pretty please. Uh, I, I would really appreciate it. And um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have else. Oh, I don't have anything else. No, no, no Vulcans falling in love with Kelpians. That's just really gross. <laughs> we'll just let the Trigglypuff sneak up on us on our way out the door. We're gonna... Oh, nobody, nobody's tried to cancel Nitty Gritty Band for Mr. Bojang. <laughs> ah! She is. She is. <laughs> She's very mad. And triggered. Well, see, so we'll see who can argue with that. I, I am Mecca, and uh... oh, I'm way cuter. Than that. Don't you go anywhere.